Happy New Year and Happy New Dakar. It's 2024, Dakar 46, and I'm back for another year to bring you the most banging, kick-ass, juiciest, hardcore and light-hearted highlights this side of the Arabian Peninsula. Strap in for three weeks of Saudi sand and desert dust. It's Dakar time. But before the real fun can begin, there was scrutineering for all the vehicles and the obligatory media duties for the competitors. And don't they just love it? The enthusiasm is overwhelming. Carlos, Pablo, AJ, Kevin, all the big boys are here perfecting their celebrations. Some have had lots of wins here already, some not so many. Some have won overall and over and over, and some have always wanted to, but never have. New faces, new teams and new jumpsuits, and now we're good to go. Start camp this year is in Alula, in the northwest of Saudi Arabia, a crossroads of early civilizations and a site of huge importance in the history of humanity. It's a breathtaking mix of sand-swept dunes and dramatic rock formations, where old meets new in perfect harmony. And it's in this land, steeped in tales of bravery, bloodshed and conquest, where the latest hero stories will start to be written. Welcome to Dakar 46. Dakar for me is the most ultimate adventure you could possibly have. We start with a prologue, just 27k, a little warm up ride around the block. Really special about riding a, a bike high speed through the desert. The feeling it's, uh, yeah, you can't explain it to someone. I love racing, I love competition, and I also like the adventure. This is like the best adventure riding. The atmosphere is amazing and can't wait to get going. For some of bike's biggest names, the last year has been a rocky road and not the chewy chocolate kind. Broken bones for Howes, Klein, Sanders, Sunderland, Valtner and even reigning champion Kevin Benavides. It was nice landscape, but you know the fact that the other riders start in front of us. The navigation was so tricky, so many change of direction that makes it really tricky and... But I'm okay. French superstar AVB has finished on the World Championship podium the last two years, but still craves a first Dakar title. He sand surfed this morning on his way to a fourth place. There was one moment where I came back, I saw the stakes were supposed to come through, so I cut back to go through them and hit one camel grass and had the big crash and then my roadbook stopped working, so I had no roadbook. And then because I had no roadbook, I was more or less following the tracks that were going all over the place. Last year, Skylar Howes found his way into our hearts. This year, he's already found his way into the grass. Not a complete disaster, but a five minute deficit, not the start the mustachioed man from Utah was hoping for. It's like a motocross track for 27 Ks, and then some tracks are going right, some tracks are going wrong. So I just had some fun and uh, I enjoyed it. It was nice, sandy, exactly what I like from Botswana. Ross Branch is almost always smiling, and the Motswana was certainly happy with third today. It was definitely a, a, definitely a rough one. There was a lot of traffic before, and the, gra uh, the sand was really soft, and a lot of camel grass, so it was really rough. Um, really hard on my, my femur, which is, wasn't good. After breaking it in May, Daniel Sanders, the colonel, would have preferred his femur looking good rather than frying his thigh in something crunchy on the opening day. Nonetheless, his secret blend meant a solid second for the Aussie. But top spot went to Spain. I feel good. The bike felt really, really good and, yeah, more difficult than uh, we expected uh, for the prologue. But, yeah, I think this is the Dakar, this is the main event of the year. So, yeah, happy and focused for tomorrow. Tosha Sharena has finished 13th in both his previous Dakar outings, but had no bad luck today 
The bikes category looks as wide open as the desert plains. The Valenciano leads by 12 seconds from Sanders with Branch just behind. And the top 10 is made up of some very familiar names. These times do count for the overall. Riders in the original by Motul category have red numbers and no support crews. The real pioneers and the real spirit of the Dakar. Leading them after today's prologue, Austrian rookie Tobias Ebster. Onto four wheels now and the quads category is severely depleted this year. Just 10 on the start list. Top of the prologue pops Argentine Francisco Moreno. Age-old landscapes, age-old monuments, age-old tombs. An age-old event and the same age-old problems for some of the cars. Oh, it will be a difficult day because we have only uh, two-wheel drive, so, so we will see how, how it works. Something tells me these guys won't be having the same issues. We didn't know before if we want to push to be in the 10 first cars uh, and to choose the position or if it's more safe to be behind. Five-time champion Nasser Latir is once again favourite, but Seb Loeb dreams of taking his crown. So how hard to push on today's potential banana skin of a prologue? Finally, we decided to go for it, to push, and uh, hopefully the time will be good. Having finished second three times in seven appearances, Loeb says the Dakar has become his obsession. He and co-driver Fabian Lequin were third today. Just behind, sensational Seth Quintero. I just didn't want to play any games, I just wanted to go out and drive, and that's what we did, and I think right now we're sitting second, so it's, it feels super good to be against, you know, the greatest in the world, the greatest that have ever done it, and uh, to be competitive with them. Go out and drive seems like an excellent strategy to me, Seth, good plan. Second for Seth as Matthias mastered the prologue with co-driver Emil Bergvist. We had a clean run, Emil did a fantastic job, it was difficult navigation, many junctions, so I was happy with our, with our job. Stefan Pederhansel missed a turn but came in seventh. Nasser Alatia also ignored the sat-nav in his new Pro Drive Hunter, finished 12th a minute down. So what's the best strategy for tomorrow? Either you finish top three or if that doesn't work out, you have to be after 10th today. Après la dixième position. Top 10, the faster, he will choose the 10 and we are always behind them. The first stage is super hard, it's long with lots of stones and nobody wants to open it. 12, I think it's the best uh, uh, start position. Today we had a bit of a stumble, I hope the consequences won't be too bad. We'll see. T3 time now and it's all changed this year. No longer are they called that, nor buggies or even lightweight prototypes. Now they're the challengers and they include Eric Gottschow, last year's T4 winner. I know with Dakar just round the corner, these athletes can't have a big blowout on New Year's Eve, but I'm not sure day one of the race is the best time either. It was the first kilometers which I've been waiting for the whole year. I think it was more selective with the tougher terrain but also the views, everything was excellent about this prologue. There's a very familiar name at the peak of the prologue pile, Eric Gottschow. I said a familiar name, not an easy to pronounce one. He moved up a class, but continued where he left off. And it was a historic day for Xavier de Sultre, who took a first Dakar success on four wheels after winning on two back in 2019. Not too shabby for Happy Shavi. Overall victory last year in the trucks went to the Dutch-Polish crew of Janusz van Kasterin. And Janusz was the boss again today in his appropriately named Boss Machinery 10-tonner. A very recognisable top 10 with the Martins, Matchik and Van den Brink both on the 2023 podium. It's pretty open, but it's not just a question of speed. We always try to make sure all the ingredients of Rally Raider are there, navigation, endurance, speed. And I believe we have a nice balance. Now it's up to them. It's the most wonderful time of the year. With the bike spindle spinning and everyone driving their trucks and their cars, it's the time to enjoy the Dakar. And boom, we're off and running. Well, riding and driving anyway. See you tomorrow.